guys, it's me Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. Sitting out here enjoying a peaceful evening with the dogs. Everybody's just hanging out. Got puppies over here beating up on each other. Eight, eight, eight. Um, Valak is really starting to feel himself. Blondie, get back over here. Come on. Blondie, let's go. Yep. So, Blondie, now. She's waiting to see if I'm paying attention. So, Mad Mortigan, um, starting to feel himself again. When he first came over, he was a pretty dominant dude, pretty disrespectful. And what I mean by that is, is that he would try to come in here like he ran the show, like he was big dog on campus. And while he may very well end up being a big dog on campus, which I do believe he will, that's not the way to um, join into a pack because um, they're not, you know, nobody wants somebody to just come in and act like they own the place. And so they used to kind of all tag team and beat up on him a bit. And then he kind of learned and he chilled out a bit. And, um, and now he, um, and now he's, he's back to being able to kind of push his weight around because he was actually respectful. And, um, <laughs> and so, uh, and so the pack feels more comfortable with him now because it's, it's, um, it's earned now. And... Valak has gotten a lot more confident and he's gotten quite a bit bigger too. He's actually starting to get pretty substantially larger than his sister now. She's still thicker, but she always was. And he's more of a tall, kind of lanky dude. And she's the, you know, more of a stout dog. Which is actually how I prefer my males and females. I like my females to be shorter and thicker, and I like my males to be taller and leaner. Um, I be, I, for me, I believe that that's the best mix, because for me, tall, lean females, um, I think that, I think for me, I, I don't like, I'm not going to say I don't like it, but I think they have a harder time with puppies, because there's they have less on them. Um, a thicker, a shorter, thicker female has uh, more muscle, a little bit more fat on her to be able to nurse puppies. And a female that's lean, she just doesn't have as much and the puppies tend to take it out of her. Um, so the impact is greater and they have a harder time bouncing back. So being that you do need to have balance, um, I do like to get my height from my males. Plus, when you're gonna be big, it's better to not be super big and bulky because then you have the potential for breaking down easier. So, for balance, I like to get my um, my height from my males and my mass from my um, from my females. So I'm really happy about about both of those um, two pups. What's up, big one? What's up, Megan? Look at you. What are you doing? What are you doing that morning? What are you doing? Where are you, pretty boy? Where are you, pretty boy? Yes, you are. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. I think my next thing I'm going to do is get... Let's get some chairs out here. Maybe even one of those... I get like a canopy, a sun canopy, so I can kind of hang out here with them from time to time because it's really nice right now and I'm so one of my favorite things to do is just to sit out here with the dogs and watch them interact with each other it's really when I learn the most is just watching, observing and um, 
And if you have the time and you have multiple dogs, I encourage you to do the same thing. Get out there and just sit and let them let them do their thing. Sometimes it takes them a little bit to get to that point. They're going to want to focus on you initially. And I will say I think that you do need about a minimum of three dogs to really see a lot of pack behavior. Um, but if you do have that and you have the ability to just sit and watch, I highly recommend it because you'll learn a lot about um, dog behavior, pack behavior, and um, and it's it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. What are you doing, Nirvana? You thinking about taking off? I see you, girl. I see you, girl. What's up, Belladonna? What's up, Belladonna? But yeah, sometimes you have to kind of wait for them to kind of stop focusing on you so much um, before you'll start to see some good behavior out of them. What's up, Blondie? What's up, Matt Mortigan? What are you doing, boy? Oh, he says I'm pooping. He says I'm pooping. <clears throat> so everybody's just quietly stick chewing right now. Everybody's got a stick. They all found them, so I, because I mowed, everybody has found all the sticks that were in the grass. And, um, oh, look, 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 a hummingbird. It's perched right up there. That's super cool. A hummingbird. That's really cool. Let's see if he'll take off. I was really surprised when I moved down here to see that we had hummingbirds. Because, um... I don't know why, I just thought that there wasn't going to be enough out here for them. But there is. Oh, they're such tiny little birds. There he goes. Hmm. But yeah, I do I do try to plant things that they'll like. So I do have some flowers, some roses, and the vines I had last year they loved. Um But anyway, this is not the hummingbird channel. Hey you guys come on get out of that now. Preacher come. Hurry. Come on now, preacher. Move it along. Let's go. Oh, I can't even focus on him. Preacher, now. He's like, not before I pee on it. Oh, hummingbird took off. What you doing, Mad Mortigan? Yeah, it is just a stunning day. It's so cool. Temperature's just right. Poor Batista, he's so mad right now. Depressed. But he'll just have to get over it. That's what he gets for being stubborn. And um, acting like he didn't want to listen. And then not only did he act like he... Not, like Well, not even act like. He just wasn't listening. And, um... And then, and then he was trying to like have everybody run around to catch a stick, you know what I mean? Like just trying to get them all out in an area where I was not trying to have them. And I was like, you know what? Like I'm not even going to play this game with you. I'm going to put you up. And then you can sit over there and feel sorry for yourself. So, um, I've never had a dog as stubborn as him, I'll be honest. I mean, it wouldn't be an issue if I had the collar on him, and maybe that's what I need to do, is every time I come out, just have the collar on him and make it a habit. That way, he knows that every time he's out here, he has to listen, you know. Because um, as you guys have seen, he knows what he's being told to do. Um, the question is, is, is he going to do it if he doesn't think he has to? So... So anyway, 
<clears throat> well, day is winding down and I'm dirty because like I said, I mowed this, this lawn today. Come on, Velocity. Get out of that. Come on. Now. Velocity. Out. Girl, I'm going to come and get you. You better get out of it right now. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to get inside, take a shower, and try to relax. Oh, heck. They got my sweet teacup. Vitani! No, man. That's my sweet teacup. That's a bad dog. You can leave it alone. Oh, you're a bad dog. Oh, you're a bad dog. Who said you could be a bad dog? You get. That's a bad girl. Who did a bad girl? That goes the end of that. Anyway, yep. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. I know I am. So, I just wish I had like a seating area out here so I could really enjoy it. But, I don't. So, I'm going to go inside and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!